Justice League to Breaking News Episode 2. I'm Mike Frusios. I'm Joe Morin. And we're here bringing you the latest in you know, all the video game news that's pretty much wrapping up 2013 and giving us a very, very bright outlook for 2014, especially, of course, on the indie side as we like to promote, yeah. but in mainstream as well. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to talk about as usual, so let's get started with uh, the first part of this episode, which is kind of dealing with kind of retro-inspired shooter platformers. Yeah. Uh, really great one that's actually exclusive to Xbox that's coming out is Super Time Force. Oh, so this one's coming out from Capybara Games, probably in the early part of 2014. So what did you kind of gather from the trailer that we saw? This is uh, the first part of our, uh, of our list here. It's a lot of really, really good uh, side scrolling games. And the really cool th feature about this game is that uh, you have the, the ability to, when you make a mistake or something goes not quite right, you can rewind things and then start from scratch again, but with another cool little twist added to it. The fact that you could actually use your past and present self and your yeah. future self to actually aid yourself, and the developers actually describe this as as single player co-op. Co -op. So, so, so to kind of break that down, so let's just say you, you die at a certain sequence, you can actually rewind go into it again and actually see your former self in the future shooting alongside with you yeah. up to like multiple versions of yourself, that, that totally is like a mind-bending new way of, yeah. of, of approaching this. I've never seen a game have that. That's a completely new element that I've never heard of and it has a really, really cool to, to what would otherwise be just a, a straightforward kind of side-scrolling shooter. Yeah, because at first, you know, I thought, okay, we've seen this in Princess of Persia, the Sands of yeah. Time, we've seen this in Braid, but like again, the fact that you're actually communicating with other versions of yourself in time is, is really incredible. You know, and it's, oh, it's going with that cool, like, the retro pixelated look, yeah. and, and I see it going head-to-head -head against Mercenary Kings, Mercenary which Kings. is going to be the exclusive to PS4. Yeah. This one was only coming out on 360. They delayed it recently so they could put it on Xbox One. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, it'll be a kind of these two, maybe you can go in head to head and we'll get, uh, like I said, but that, that feature is really, really cool. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, again, for, for, for fans of 2D side scrollers, I mean, you've got fast frenetic action, definitely a kind of like a Gunstar Heroes vibe here with just explosions, epic bosses. This one's, uh, again, coming from Capybara Games. These guys are actually also developing a game, another game for Xbox One called Below. Oh, yeah. So uh, we saw a little bit of this one. What did you think of that? Like, like some quirky stuff coming from these guys. Yeah, it's a kind of a similar thing. It, uh, but uh, with some bigger, some bigger stuff going on. It's a, uh, it's a uh, different, some kind of different gameplay elements to it. Yeah, it reminded me of Rhyme. Rhyme, yeah. But yeah. kind of like a three quarter head. Yeah, game. but, but pan back even further. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just a lot of different elements and stuff and like that, that. A little bit, a little bit of Diablo kind of stuff going. Very, uh, like, like I said. A little bit of rhyme, but uh, but uh, but different. You know, it's it's not uh, like a copy of it or anything like that. That's right. It, it was funny too is that these guys actually started out their life on the PlayStation Network yeah. with another game called Critter Crunch, yeah, yeah. which is not even like yeah, it's related. It's completely different. It was like a it, it was like Connect Four with a, like this little <laughs> yeah. almost, almost like a, like a little cut the rope guy catching stuff at the bottom. Yeah, like kind of that typical hand drawn cartoon yeah. style style. But so that's completely different. Yeah, whereas the time super yeah. time force. They're going completely like retro pixel art, yeah. uh, fast frenetic action. So, and they're aligning themselves with Xbox. I mean, this, yeah. they were one of the featured developers in that list of like 30 plus developers that are signing on with Microsoft. I, I believe that the first games of the gate are going to start coming out in March, where, where I would expect to see Super Time Force probably coming out in early spring, along with a lot of the other big stuff. So that's coming from Capybara Games somewhere in quarter one of 2014, only for Xbox 360 and Xbox One. Moving on with the kind of side-scrolling um, action brawler genre, a big reboot coming. Strider. Yes. Yeah. A remake of the original Strider done for next gen coming from Double Helix and Capcom. Yeah. So just, what, what is this, is this going to hopefully help bring Capcom out of the depths? I, I think so. You know, when I, when I first saw this game, immediately like Shinobi. <laughs> yeah, that's like right. he, the guy even gave me. Looks like Shinobi. He even stands there, like like just like Shinobi. Absolutely. And uh, it it, uh, it it looks really cool. There's a uh, it's a uh, 
Yeah, it's it, it, it is kind of like an HD kind of reboot of, of this game. It is. I mean, but, if you've ever played the old Genesis, but it's not like a straight up copy of everything. It's no, it's definitely uh, you know it's it, it it looks a lot better. There are some kind of different. Uh, you're building yourself up and yeah, like I, I remember I didn't play the original one like yeah. heavily, but I mean I can already tell just from the gameplay we saw that I mean there's a lot of cool new power ups you can yeah. do. Um, very, very kind of heavy, big, badass brawler style. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on on the ground, a lot of heavy slashing, fast frenetic gameplay, and you also notice uh, the combo meter. Yeah, the, the combo meter, and there's even some other stuff, like it, there's, uh, it's not just all, on just one flat plane, you know, there's some other kind of levels, and you're actually able to walk underneath and, and attack these guys from uh, from underneath, you know, it's, it's not just a straight up uh, Yeah. Absolutely, it's got like a lot of those those hardcore Capcom tropes too. Oh, yeah. I mean, like again, going getting back to the combo meter, the whole idea that the the more chain kills you can do, you can start building up to, to special powers. So I definitely see this uh, being fans of, especially hard games like Shinobi, yeah. those classic hack and slash grinders. Uh, this one's coming out somewhere in 2014. We said this is coming from, from Double Helix. They're also famous for a pretty famous Xbox One launch game. Which one was that? That was Killer Instinct. That's yeah, Killer right. Instinct. They, they brought up Killer Instinct for Xbox One. Yeah. Uh, they're, and they're also the uh, the makers of Front Mission Evolved yeah. and, and a few other things. So this, this uh, you know, this, I, I'm just wondering now, when we were watching this trailer, you, you kind of, you, you seemed a little, uh, you seemed a little confused as to whether this was going to be still relevant in this day and age. Like, Strider is an old game that came out like in 1990, 91. Do you think this is still going to have the same impact today as it did then? Uh, we'll see. I, I think it will. I think so, like fans of Shinobi and that kind of stuff, you know, they'll be drawn because I mean, it's, it's. I don't think that there's any kind of remake of Sh Shinobi kind of coming out. So this will attract some of those guys. Yeah. And then we'll see how it, how it uh, comes out. I mean, Killer Instinct was it was pretty quiet when it came out. It so is. I mean, you, you kind of figured they would have gotten a little bit, uh, but but our best. But I think Strider's got that cachet. I mean, it's one of those oh, franchises yeah. we haven't seen in a long time. And other than Moon Diver, I haven't really seen anything like Strider in the current yeah. gen. So if you ever played Moon Moon Diver. It's basically like a JRPG yeah. successor to it, but I'd say a little bit more. Like there's, there seems a little bit more to it. Like you can do experience points, upgrade your powers. So yeah. it'll, it'll remain to see if Strider can kind of reach that level. Yeah. Um, but that seems to be kind of like Capcom's thing to do right now. I mean, especially looking at the the, the uh, success of Ducktales Remastered, yeah. and now we've heard that they're going to be doing Chippendales Dales Rangers. Maybe that's the way they have to go. Start yeah. reminding their own catalog. Yeah, and that, 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 that'll definitely appeal to the fans of the game. Absolutely, get back to its roots. Yeah, I'm all for it. So that's Strider. That's uh, kind of a digital download somewhere in 2014. Uh, keep it up with the fast, frenetic kind of Japanese action. This is one that's coming out straight for Wii U. This is Bayonetta 2 from Platinum Games, who was famous for uh, Wonderful 101, and of course, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. So what did you see from this Wii U exclusive? I was surprised this week, because I mean, this came out for, uh, Came out for Xbox 360 and PS3. Uh, the first was, Bayonetta, uh, yeah. And uh, I'm not sure if the first one came out for uh, the original. Yeah, I think it did. No, it didn't. It just PS3, Xbox okay. 360. So but I, I, was, I was surprised to see it just Wii U exclusive. Mm -hmm. you know, it, it, uh, you know. Do you think this is gonna? Do you think this is gonna speak to people who are getting to the Wii U? Like looking at the type of people who are getting into that kind of system, is this speaking to their demographic right now? Or well, is this you know, the main demographic for the Wii U, I mean, really, it is for a younger audience. But, you know, maybe a game like this can draw some of those other people in. That's yeah. what I'm hoping for, because they need that on, that, on, on the Wii U. They, they need the more hardcore adult experiences yeah. to kind of complement the Marios, the Zeldas. And what I like about this is that it, it doesn't seem like it's over-the-top gory, more about fast, frenetic comic book style yeah, it's action. very, very quick, very, very fast-paced. Yeah. A lot of motion, yeah. like you're, you're like doing battle oh, on yeah. jet planes and stuff. And it, it just again, I think this is going to be another one of those exclusives that's going to it's going to grab the older gamers and, and you know possibly justify that in their eyes if, you, if you're getting sick of the family friendly games. Something else to try here. Yeah. Uh, what else can we say about that? So that's uh, kind of exclusively for the Wii U from creator Hideki Kamiya, who actually brought us the original Devil May Cry. So you're going to see uh, you know elements of that. You can obviously see that in the trailer here. Anyway, that's Bayonetta 2. Uh, Kind of sticking with, again, the Japanese mythology, hardcore action. Samurai Gun, what do you think about this trailer? This one's coming out from Techno Pants and Magzistentialism. Yeah. Out now on the PC, coming soon to PS4 and Vita. PS4 and Vita, yeah. This is, you know, from uh, what I can see, this is basically, yeah, it's like Samurai Towerfall. 
that's pretty much it. Exactly. It's, 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 it's going to appeal to the audience. Like I said, this appeals to, to like people that are fans of like Smash Brothers. It's going to be like a good, quick, fixed multiplayer game for you to just beat up your buddies and, and uh, do that kind of stuff. That's that's what this game is going to be about. Absolutely. Yeah. Kind of going back to our first episode of Breaking News, we yeah. talked about Towerfall Ascension. Um, I would say this is even like more fast and frenetic. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just very, one hit kills. Very gory and just oh yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. It's it's going to be it's going to be like that. Well, you noticed a kind of a comparison to Super Meat Boy in, yeah. in terms of like what was that? Can well, I explain on that? Well, because I mean, it, like it, it's you know, it's, if any of you guys have played Super Meat Boy, you know, as he's going along, like, there's like there's pieces of him like sticking all over the place. Trails of blood. Yeah, and there, there's there's plenty of that in this game. It's like a trail of cookie crumbs. It, it yeah. shows you where you've been in the yeah. level, <laughs> and it kind of gives you an idea. But this is more just for 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 graphic blood sake. Like you just see but, corpses laying there and puddles of blood where you finished off your enemies. Well, maybe yeah, if that's a place where you're gonna die, you. you I got that reminder of the game, maybe I won't go back. This might not be such a great idea. Right last time, so it, it gives you those kind of... Yeah, and there's tons of maps you can tell from the preview. I mean, lots of ways to keep this fresh. It's an MOBA, so, you know, there's always... It's it's one of those quick fix kind of games you can jump into for like 10 minutes, get a crazy kill-death ratio, and be done with it. But, you know, it, it seems like these kind of... These MOBA, very simple kind of games are counting the style right now for, yeah. you know, maybe like a new kind of casual genre. So, Samurai Gun, um, now, out now on PC and Steam, but coming out not for Xbox, but for PS4 and Vita. So I'm looking forward to actually have that on Vita. Yeah, I think this, is, this would be a really, really great game for like mobile gaming on the go. That is, it's a good fit for the PS4 too, but uh, for, for mobile, I think that's going to be a that's going to be a cool fit for that console. There's, I don't think there's too much of that on there, so oh, absolutely, be a, a nice fit for that. Yeah, so that's a that's one to look forward to. Probably coming soon in the new year. Moving on to some 3DS exclusive stuff. Mm. This next one's called Treasure Knots from Renegade Kids. What can you tell us about Treasure Knots that you saw from that trailer? Uh, it's a uh, you know it, it's if from the makers of uh, Mutant Mud Deluxe. Mutant Mud Deluxe, yeah. It's a uh, it's gonna be one of those games where it's uh, you know it's it's like your your traditional kind of side scrolling uh, kind of game, but I think it's gonna. It's gonna to appeal to the people on the 3S. I mean, it's it's a, it seems to be a popular kind of uh, genre on that console. Yeah, I think it's it, from what I saw in the trailer. It seems like one of those deceptively simple games. Like it, it reminded me a lot of Kirby. Like very slow, deliberate, yeah. like classic platforming. But I haven't actually played Mutant Must Dogs, but I, mm -hmm. what I hear, it's actually a very difficult game. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and I like what I see in this trailer, like the, it, it's, it's definitely for fans of like Borderlands or like uh, all these other kind of like smash and grab, you know, loot, looting kind of games. There's lots of stuff to collect. Really feels like an, like an NES Capcom game. Like I, I totally felt like I was watching DuckTales or Chippendales. Yeah. Even when you got attack, you see like Jules was coming. Oh yeah, and these these yeah. great rendered epic bosses that are yeah. kind of cartoony. So something for the younger set, but also something for all you old schoolers who love your platformers yeah. a little bit more hardcore. Again, don't be fooled by the simple mechanics of what you're yeah. seeing here, especially with Mutant Month Deluxe. You know, there obviously sometimes you can have like the most you know sinister gameplay experiences yeah. in a simple package. Yeah, it's definitely gonna not just appeal to one demographic. It's gonna to appeal to some to. to to a fair amount of people. Yeah, and you know what? This is the kind of thing that the 3DS needs, like these little like indie games. Like the 3DS really took off this year, and, and I think the fact that I was that surprised by that actually. Absolutely, I think the whole industry is surprised yeah. at how the 3DS turned itself around. It did not start off well. It did not. And you know what? I think a lot of it had to do with the eStore. You know, just the fact right. that you could get virtual console games. That you, like, you know, and, and even like the fact that, you know, Earthbound on Wii U is actually getting people to buy a Wii U. I think yeah. Nintendo like really hit their stride with that e-store and I think just by bringing more indie titles like this and eventually Ballpoint Universe, you're going to see some really cool stuff to come in and compete with Steam I hope and so. PSN, yeah. especially that this is exclusive. Yeah. So that's uh, Treasure Knots. Uh, moving on, we also got some more retro infused stuff for fans of Terraria. This is called Starbound from Chucklefish. This is their first game out of the gate. This is in beta right now on PC. Yeah. Looking to stay on PC. What can you tell me about Okay, so not tell me what you saw about this, but what if you if you're into Terraria, what would make you want to play Starbound as well? It, it's it definitely it's it's similar to Terraria and kind of the look. And from my initial impression, you know, we watched a couple different uh, trailers on this. But the second one we watched really kind of showed me some of the other elements. It, it's it. Uh, I think uh, people are going to want to do a bit more multiplayer on this because you're you're actually grouping together with people to to build. Right? Yeah, you're, 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 you're not just focused, you're, it's not just attacking or kind of just being off by yourself. It, it's it's actually it looks like it's going to be an encouraging group play. It's it's as if you like hired your own 
contracting team yeah. to build something in Minecraft. That's exactly like that's that's what I felt like yeah. when you're when you're inside the space station, and, and it seems like it's going to be more complex than Terraria in the sense you know Terraria you have your cave, you put your torches, your crafting table, but in this you're making like these crazy crafting yeah. machines, sci-fi crafting machines. Who knows what kind of equipment you'll be able to make? And just the fact that again that you've got a community coming together to design this 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 large structure, I think it's really going to bring people together it's in be more a more satisfying. Yeah, I don't think the I don't think the emphasis on this one is about battle. I think it's about again about getting people together and just kind of surviving. Yeah. Absolutely. So Starbound's in beta right now. You can actually go to uh, playstarbound.com and get the beta right now and start testing it out and see what it's about. To finish off part one, kind of switching gears a little bit, but staying in the strategy realm. Frozen End Zone. Frozen End Zone. So this one's coming up from Mode Seven Games. The guys who brought us uh, Frozen Synapse. What, what is this going to offer new to gamers? This is some, something quite unique. This is a, a turn-based strategy sports game. Based on American football rules. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, In yeah. a frozen wasteland yeah. with ran randomly generated very, very environments. Very yeah, very, so very yeah, you've got a playing field, you've got like these randomly generated structures that appear as either uh, obstacles or strategic factors. I, I don't know if this is gonna appeal outside the hardcore set. Why is that? Like, it seemed like it was a little deliberate, maybe too much. So yeah, because it, it it really does feel like you're, like you're you're playing. I mean, you're you're, you're, you're it, it is a football game, but it, it's like you're you're really really slowing down. It, it, it's 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 like you're playing chess. Absolutely, yeah. You know, it, it's and you're really really playing. You can see what what uh, optional outcomes will will come out and you can actually choose one that you want to go with. It, it's a very, very deliberate pace. Yeah, and I think that comes from the fact that you can not only like preview your own plays, like in yeah. terms of where your characters preview are going to go. Preview your enemies' plays as well. Exactly, right? You yeah. can actually set up scenarios where your enemies might move and, and think about your strategies. This is a simultaneous RTS co-op game, but it, it really feels like those mail order chess games, or like even pure chess, which came yeah. out for all platforms, where you don't play in real time, but you actually message your move, and you have all the time in the world. So again, this isn't these games will probably last hours. Oh yeah, it's it's not going to be your quick you know football game, even yeah. though it has the mechanics. Yeah, it's going to be one of those ones where it's going to be time consuming. Absolutely, yeah. and, and I don't even think and not in a bad way. Not in a bad way at all. I think I think sometimes you have to slow down, and and yeah. this is really going to bring up the strategy in you. But I don't think this is going to be something that sports fans are going to turn on to. Oh, I think this is, is going to be this is going to appeal to the the, the, the fans of, of XCOM, that kind of stuff. And even, even, even this game has like that kind of feel to it. It's a very very deliberate pace. It, it's definitely not going to appeal to like Madden fans out there, obviously. Yeah, I think it's for people yeah. like me who don't yeah. really play sports games who would love the experience of being able to play a sports game. I think this kind of gives you both best both worlds. Yeah, it's it's going to. I think it's going to be kind of like bridging a gap between strategy and sports game. Yeah, exactly. And it kind of reminds me of what they did with Mutant League Football and Mutant League Hockey on the Genesis. You know, just kind of taking genres and just adding these new elements onto it. So that's on PC only. Um, stay tuned for more breaking news after the break. I'm Mike Crucios. I'm Joe Moore. This is the Joyce Justice League, and uh, stay tuned.